Chapter 9. My search for the intruder has suddenly turned into a nightmare. Emma claims that I was lost in the woods for six hours. To make matters worse, someone broke into my office and stole the telegrams. While following the thief, I ended up facing the terrible truth. We've been watched for a long time. The Soviets. They know everything. Every detail. This whole thing is getting more and more complicated. I'm starting to think that Nicholas did not, in fact, lose his mind. He too was stalked by someone with his every step. Where? Where am I? Oh! Fuck! Stupid! This is the bottom of some fucking well. How do I get out? That's a good question. Knife. An army knife, if I'm not mistaken. Fuck, I think oh. I'm puke. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't have to pull a saw and do it to myself. Never a bit much worse. Find a way out of the well. First decapitated and then de-armified. De-handified, more like it. Alright. I have a feeling that this is just gonna knock the bucket out. And away. But I guess I have to try. But it came back at least. <laughs> now it did not. <laughs> Looks weird. Come to me, you bucket full of water. Ooh. Nice. Now let's hope this is stable enough. It's stable enough for a bucket full, bucket full of water. But maybe not for me, I don't know, we'll see. Quite the upper body strength. Fuck, the plank is gonna break. Uh oh. You can do it. Well done, buddy. That was quite the heroic climbing. I guess most people wouldn't be up for that. Maybe the Soviets even would want to hire you. But why were we tipped into there? And when? Let's get back to Emma as soon as possible. Well, someone, either we stumble into there ourselves in a blackout for some weird reason, or someone wants to dispose of us. Possibly these Soviets. Ah, uh, or is this the weird, this is the weird cottage which, which we were in, wasn't it? Okay, we can probably cut our way through here with this army knife, yep. Or a knife at the very least. Someone else has our machete though. I thought I saw something peeking up there, but it's probably just me. A good question. I don't even know if it's the same cottage anymore. This doesn't feel all too familiar. Ok, 
Okay, that's just the wind, I think. It sounded like twigs breaking. Yeah, it's probably just the trees. They can sometimes make weird noise when there's a lot of wind. Okay, now I'm getting paranoid here. Mm, is this just the wind or is there someone watching me? Jesus. Emma's alone at home. I must get back to her as fast as I can. Hmm, I'm definitely being watched. That's definitely my feeling right now. Maybe the Soviets even want to take Emma, if, if the Soviets are a thing and it's not something completely different. But it does start to point more and more towards potential Soviets. Then Emma will probably be kidnapped. I mean, would they even need to interrogate her? They seem to know everything about me already. Fire watch that way. Uh, I think our house was toward the tower, this way. Flashlight. Some sort of broken off mill. Oh, yeah, this is I've the way it goes. My wife alone, and there's a maniac on the prowl. I just hope she's all right. Yeah, me too. She didn't seem to be doing good even when we seemed to be out of danger. Temporarily. Jumping back and forth between moods. This is the back door. Emma! Where is she? This dramatic entrance felt more like she's not here. Were those pictures there? I don't remember those particular pictures. Emma? Either you're there in plain sight or you're just completely lifelessly gone. I found that weird. Although I don't like the dreadful, dreadful ambiance that keeps going on. Maybe she's tidying up somewhere and is gonna scare me once I come. Because she keeps jumping between being joyful and playful and being just very cold and pensive. Oh, Emma, darling. Are you in the attic? Possibly not. I don't see why this would be. I just, but I'm gonna have a look anyway. Because the Russians seem to have a point of interest for this. They probably looked at me through here. Somehow, probably in the trees. There are tree houses, so they knew I found this. They knew it. Okay, no, nothing here. Emma? Hmm. Nope. No. Just contract you for now. Emma? Oh, Emma? Oh, hey, Emma. Cold and pensive again? Oh, she probably hates me at this point. Pizza. Emma. He, he's been here again. I'm here. This time... What happened to you? Why do you look like this? I, uh... uh slipped and fell into a stream. I'm alright. He's come back. You hear me? He keeps harassing us phone doesn't work. Maybe he cut the wires or... The important thing is he didn't do anything to you. But he could have. Look 
what I found. God, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left you alone. Did you meet the sheriff? No. He... Uh, no, I must have missed him. <laughs> I found the telegrams, though. And believe it or not, the diary I told you about... Diary?! Nicholas's diary. It'll help me decode them. I just need to find the remaining pages and then... You're doing it again! Someone wants to kill us, and all you're worried about is work? Why don't you think about me? About our child? I do think, all the time. Then do something to keep us safe, and do it fast. It'll be over soon, I promise. I have a tiny little vibe, Chen, about me being a bit Emma's schizophrenic. She needs to calm down. I better check what the sheriff was up to. Luckily, I've got his car keys. I mean, right? What that was? Yeah, that that actually elaborates on what I was thinking. Maybe the guy in the well was the sheriff. Um, I didn't even know that was his car keys, but maybe that's why the car keys were there as well. I'm starting to think. Are we possibly schizophrenic? Are we? Are we the guys talking around here, not remembering it? Like, I'm obviously perhaps something different from schizophrenia, but you know what I mean. Like, something, uh, some sort of psychosis, something that makes us go over to another personality and forget everything and stalk around, perhaps even kill, like the sheriff. Why was he in there with us? Maybe we think they're Soviets, but it's actually us. This is a very, very wild theory. But you know, this adventure seems like it does have quite the twist. Alright, let's have a look in the car then. Police report. He never had a chance to write that summary. The same person that turned our life to hell has also wrought the sheriff's life to a brutal end. Sadly, what else is... Okay, I want to read this first. Case number, let's see, 28th of August, 1979. P.T. Anderson. Emma Stevenson. This is, oh yeah, second degree burglary. I, I was thinking maybe they uh, reported us missing. Uh, on Tuesday, August 28th, 4 p.m., the police station in Windham received a phone call concerning a supposed second degree, second degree burg burglary on a private property in Blackstone. I guess first degree is probably a bit more stealthy and less damaging, like breaking into a window and so. The caller, who said her name was Emma Stevenson, claimed that while her husband was away, an unidentified trespasser entered the property and punctured the tires of Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson's car. Actions taken. I have arrived at the spot at 5 p.m. Upon preliminary... Ex what does that mean? Preliminary? Preliminary examination, I can confirm with absolute certainty that the tires of Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson's car were indeed punctured with a sharp tool. Footprints left in the mud indicate a man. I will talk to the owner and then, after further examination, I will try to put down my conclusions in a summary. The conclusions which never got to be. But yeah, it seemed a bit... Uh, like we, we saw the footprints, they seemed very big earlier. Okay. Additional comments. The house that Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson, I can't believe he had to use his insight and analytical mind to turn the page around. <laughs> Alright, the house that Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson now live in has a very eventful history. In the 1850s, there was an accident in the nearby mine and at least a few people went missing in the immediate area. Uh-huh. When a body of one of the missing people was found, accusations were made against a certain Jacob Hyde, the mine's co-owner who happened to live in the very same house. And I suppose this Nicholas 
was the main culprit. Nicholas was that the one with the hat? I keep forgetting names, I'm sorry. I need to be better. It wasn't until years later that other bodies were found, which is why the area has become shrouded in dark legends. The murderer was never apprehended. Oh, is this a lighter? I had a lighter like this once. Well, without the face and all, but yeah. So heavy it went through the seat. This looks like the back of a photo frame. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, nothing of interest here. Ah. What's this? In the late 19th century, the Hyde family, in order to avoid further association with the accusations against Jacob Hyde, legally changed their name to Stevenson. Uh. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Am I supposed to believe that my family and the Hydes are one and the same? That's fucking absurd. So someone would have told me if we had such stories in our family history. We shared a house. Wouldn't they? Unless... Unless it's bullshit. Bullshit invented by the sheriff. He wanted to set me up, mess with my head. Hey. Or, or was he even a real sheriff? Oh, hey. I seriously can't put my finger on this. Calm it. You're rushing to conclusions way too much. So the police suspected Jacob Hyde of killing John Norton and then Jacob's son. Nicholas was put into mental treatment. He mentioned being 10 years away from home in his diary. So it seems he spent that time in a mental hospital. And yeah, that's the same house there. What the? It's, uh, it seems familiar, but I can't recall where exactly I've seen it before. Definitely somewhere in our house. This statue? Yeah, I saw this. I, I made a comment about this earlier on where it was pointing. At the picture, it was on the first floor, I believe. But what about this other thing? This oven, this, st this stove thing. Another okay. secret. A hidden room in our house. I have to check it out. That fucker could have even been there when we moved in. Too bad I didn't know about it before. So, it was pointing at the secret, didn't I even comment that this pointing towards a secret? <laughs> okay, keep it calm. Keep it calm. I'm pretty sure it was behind this wall here. At one point, wasn't it? Maybe it was in the past? Because many of the objects in uh, that were here in the past were moved upstairs. Alright. Well. Let's see. Just check the stove as well. But this is not it. Unless it's been modified. Half of my house is on lockdown. Second floor then. Or... Uh, I prefer not to go down there right now. <sighs> Only if absolutely necessary. Ah. Didn't I see you somewhere else at one point? And there's this stove. This is it. I just need to place the disc in the opening, just like in the picture. Solve the riddle close to the fireplace. Part of this text is invisible. How can I read it? What happens at night will be judged in daylight. What stays hidden in the dark will be revealed in full light. And the, the past which we re revisit is basically dark all the time and present time is always light. If this has anything to do with it. So what stays hidden in the dark will be revealed in full light. Hmm. Hmm. 
Maybe I can use this light. Oh, do, 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 do. our drunken hands must not make more chaos. All right, put more light here. 1864 AD. I can't remember what that stands for. After Christ, I believe it was. Uh, practically. And you are Christ, and you're pointing at this. Maybe one of the paintings were made in 80, 1864. Well, you're pointing up, though. You're, like, beckoning me over. Hmm. This creature. Why are you pointing to this and indicate the same picture elsewhere? Because we seem to have quite a bit of duplicates going on. Okay, what about this? Oh, well, 1864. Uh, oh, <laughs> that number sequence isn't random. Complicating it a bit. 1860. Oh. Um. 1864. Reading it, but upside down. But. Let's take you up here. 1864. Okay. AD, AD, Af okay, okay. So what, do this. Oh, oh, do we have It's like a set of dates. Each corresponds to one letter. There was a puzzle that had six letters in the cave, I think it was. Um, oh Jesus Christ. Um. Okay. Plus C. 7073. Okay. 1773. Plus D. Um. What? Seventy-seventy-three. I imagine I'm supposed to get... Oh! Two letters. B, C, maybe. No, wait. There, there are six years here. Ah. Uh. <laughs> um... What could this mean? Let's try another one. 1823 plus M. 1823 plus, what is, did I say? M. M. Well, this says C. So if we do this, C for you. If one even exists, I guess not. Hmm. Plus M. And we can't move the center one. Very peculiar. Fourteen ten plus N. Fourteen ten plus N, which splits into two 
1791 plus T. 1791. Plus T. That is a bit complicated. Wait, what? Seventeen seventy three plus C. Now it aligns for some reason with B. Didn't do that before. Well, let's try it on B. But there is no B. Um. Maybe I have this a bit backward. 1773 plus C. Maybe it has to be the if inner C. find the letters associated with the dates and arrange them into a word, the cipher will be broken. Maybe it has to be E instead. Maybe it has to be the inner circle. E exists. Maybe this is it. 1823 plus M. 1823 plus M. Yeah, this is it. G. Okay, so it's possibly a bit simpler than I thought. 1410 plus N. Uh, plus N, which would mean O. <laughs> ego. This isn't gonna read egoist, is it? <laughs> in that case, it seems to be in our mind, if anything. 1307 plus D. 13. Where are you? 1307. There you are, plus D. I. Yep. Pretty much sounds like it's going to egoist. Uh, actually, I'm going to just put it in, just see if it is. S. T. Uh, egoism. Dingo. Good. That was well thought out, Nicholas. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I was an egoist. There's no T. Could it be M? A loud reveal. Startled me. All right. This, this reminds me of the holy hand grenade from uh, Team 17's Worms Armageddon and the Worms games in general who probably got it from Monty Python's Holy Grail movie. This isn't just some trinket. It looks like it could fit somewhere. Globus Cruciger. Hmm. Now I'll just put the apple in the right place. I wouldn't eat this apple. Well, you're pointing. Could you be fitting on here somewhere? No, maybe not. In your hand? <laughs> Directly in front of me. Wow. Hmm. Well, no wonder I didn't see this. This just looks like the roof. I mean, the ceiling. Well. Well, well, well. What do all those words and symbols mean? Shouldn't we get Emma before we drift off on our little trip? We both saw through a hole in the wall what my father did to that lady. Hunting dangerous game is the most fun. Father, mother, son, death. Liars. The... Uh... Liars, thieves, f 
foragers, monsters, sadists, he and I. Young Nicholas's Diary God, Nicholas, was locked up in a dark room by his father, mentally abused. Nicholas, isn't that the one we warp back and forth in time with, like the one in the 1850s? Damn. It's a good thing he wasn't all alone. But why did he never mention the other boy in his diary? Not even his name was written in it. December 22nd, 1849. I apologized so many times, but he says I must be punished to learn. Dad, why are you hurting me? I kept asking, and he was so furious that his face went to red, as if, why do you even ask? You just have to. Finally, he spat and said, why do you keep hurting us? What? January 3rd, 1850. Darkness is the worst. I hate it. There is nothing that scares me anymore. Oh, you get quite a bit hardened after a while, I'm sure. Your soul takes it all. I don't know what I did wrong this time. Maybe I didn't do anything. Maybe I was wrong I was even born. I think my father wants to get rid of me. It's not because I did something wrong. It's about me. He just doesn't want me in his life. I'm a nuisance to him. What else could it be? The fact I took his pencil, the one I write with now whenever a bit of light comes uh, comes in through the cracks? I really don't know. Well, at one point when we went into his bedroom in the past, or what room this was, we heard a lot of yelling, and so... And I think we got a taste of how it was to be this poor child. March 24th, 1850. I've had a dream where I took off my clothes and ran around the inn naked yelling at guests like crazy. Well, this corresponds with, with this one guest who had quite a complaint. I guess it wasn't an end, maybe you were even possessed. They were scared of me. They were adults, and yet they were scared. It was just a dream. In fact, I am the one who is scared. I broke a plate. All my dinner wasted. Father thought I did it on purpose. I never do anything on purpose. I had nothing bad at least. My hands are shaking. I can't write anymore. Until May 15th, 1850. I'm not alone here. He's walking around the house too. I'm not sure if I like it. Sounds like a haunted creature walking around by the way you write this. He's not saying anything, just smiling. I'm looking down, not saying anything, and avoiding eye contact and even acknowledgement of something being there. As much as possible, I bet. I get how you feel. June 6th, 1850. He's actually nice to me. Not the way I first thought he was. Well, if it's a ghost that I assume you're talking about, then... Of course, you. it's like the sixth sense where the kid was so terrified, but actually realized he just wanted help. At least I have some company for my trips to the woods. I can't tell my father anything. He would get mad. August 11th, 1850. Well, your father gets mad at every little thing, so yeah. Okay, today it's the same old story. Closet and darkness. But this time, he's here with me. Oh yeah, so a ghost. I tell him I was good and it wasn't my fault. It's my father and others to blame. The old man locks me up because he's ashamed of me. Hold up. Is this why we heard a, well, why we heard a demonic, well, you know, rambling, chanting in the inn? Could this be a remnant from the one he talked with? Maybe the devil doing something to the father so he would be perpetual in the spirit realm and always show up like this, like, uh, saving me from this other spirit and so, but doomed to roam around like a spirit on earth. Uh, the old man locks me up because he's ashamed of me. He'd rather I hadn't been born or I was something else. It's my father and others to blame. At first he doesn't believe me, 
but then he says I'm right. He tells me not to worry and to be patient. He says everything will be alright. I tell him it already is, because neither of us will be alone again. Wait, did I... Yeah. September 23rd, 1850. I'm not a child anymore. I don't have to listen to my father just because he's bigger and older. I'm smart, and I have a lot of ideas. I talked about them when we both sat in the dark. He said, I'd, he said it's sick. So what? Maybe I am sick after what the world has done to me, not least the father. At night, we will go into the woods to hunt for dangerous beasts. Ah, uh, ah. Uh -huh. October 2nd, 1850. He went to sleep, so I'm going alone. The old man has brought a new whore to the inn. He thinks no one will notice. I saw Whitehead spit a miner in the face. Oh, that's not a good thing. I clenched my fists, dreaming they are beating them both to a pulp. So it seems like when you dream something, you have this ability to summon something. October 7th, 1850. Well, I guess this is why things died then in the first place. People. He has no idea what I've planned, but it's only a matter of days. I will tell him soon. I know where the old man keeps gunpowder barrels. You're the one who put stuff there. As soon as we got out of this... Get out of this fucking closet. We're going to have a ball. I asked the dame from the inn if she would show me her twat. What's a twat? I thought it was a... A uh, derogatory term. But I guess most derogatory terms even... Has origins in actual items and tools and etc. She told the old man... Plus, she took me for N, like Nicholas, I guess. And now we're both rotting in here. I should have fucking killed her. People like that are just a waste of space. The closet is their worst fucking thing. I wish I could shatter it to god and pieces. Well, I know a similar place. In fact, it is quite the same. Dark, cold, and hell-like. It must burn if we want to put an end to our suffering. So dark, cold, and hell-like, it sounds like when you have revisited the inn. At least all the chanting around made it sound like hell. It seemed like the spirits of hell were roaming around there every now and then. There was even a madman on the loose. Or a mad spirit, for that matter. Maybe a madman when, well, everyone were alive. It must burn if we want to put an end to our suffering. People are fucking scum. I've said it all along. Oh dear, that was the end of the that diary. Broken down. Sadly. I make long trips without even moving human. Wait, I make long trips without even moving. Human equals beast. You make long trips without even moving sounds like you're sleeping and dreaming of being there. Is this the so-called closet that they talked about? But why is this in the roof? Hmm. Everyone I meet has two faces. One is human, the other is a face of a beast. Because humanity, like every human, has some evil in them, maybe? Okay. See in the little lamp. That scared me a little bit because it looked like you actually bent over to me. By the way, I picked you up. I'm going to put you down there. Or maybe... Maybe someone else. Maybe not a kid because this is so high up. It's even taller than me. I can't properly look in there. Into this rotten thing. there anything else for me here? Or is this it? Because I feel there haven't really been that many clues. Oh, hello. Oh, we are gonna dream again. The man in the mask. 
Now I know who he is. What the hell is that? Maybe we inherited this ability of dreaming and because we read something and we go there. Maybe it affects the area around us. Maybe we inherited this ability. All right. Someone's at the door. Yeah. Hello. Didn't I close that car door? Hmm. It's you. 